Black holes seem to have a bad rap. Maybe it's because supermassive black holes eat stars for breakfast. But have you ever wondered what might happen if a cute little black hole appeared next to Earth? How dangerous would that be? We'll try to answer this question in today's video, but know that it will not end well for Earth. Before we get to the juicy part, let's explain what a black hole is and how it operates. A black hole is a region in space with so much gravitational pull that not even light can escape. But just because black holes have a strong gravitational pull on anything passing by doesn't mean they're just out there sucking stuff up in the universe. However, matter or light passing nearby can be dragged around the black hole. Nevertheless, only a small portion of this material really falls into a black hole and is absorbed, never to be seen again. However, when the matter approaches a black hole, things get intense. Gravitational pulling physically stretches apart or spaghettified object like stars. The material accumulates in a ring known as an accretion disk, where it spins fast and is superheated to millions of degrees. First things first, despite popular misconceptions, black holes are not actually holes. Similar to any other object, a black hole is only distinguished by its extreme density. This creates a gravitational field around it that's so strong that not even light can escape. But whether it is a hole or not, nothing that goes in comes back out. Another fascinating aspect of black holes is that they are completely invisible and we can see them because of the influence they have on the things around them. The title hole was chosen because everything that falls into a black hole is confined eternally. Crazy, right? So just what is a black hole? Black holes are basically remnants of dead or dying stars. However, it's not just any star. It must be a star that's 20 times the size of our own sun which is already massive in its own right. Theoretically, a black hole could be created by significantly shrinking any mass. The sole criteria are that it must be less than Schwarzschild's radius in terms of physical size, but more on that later in the video. For instance, if the mass of our sun were concentrated into a sphere 2.5 kilometers in diameter, it would eventually turn into a black hole. Or if Earth were, imaginarily, sucked into a black hole, it would only be a few millimeters wide. Even still, the object would need to be extremely large since it would have all of the mass of our planet. This can give black holes the appearance of being omnipotent, terrible forces that feed endlessly on stars and planets. But this is untrue. They aren't threats to the universe. Or are they? Keep watching to learn more. In today's scenario, we're going to examine what would happen if a cute coin-sized black hole suddenly appeared next to us. In essence, the planet would be destroyed, wiping out everyone who lives on it. The end. At least that's what you thought. The coin-sized black hole would have about the same mass as the Earth, since black holes are so dense. Additionally, its gravitational attraction would be 1 billion times stronger than that of our own planet. As previously stated, the Earth would be destroyed. But it would not just drop into the black hole. The main reason our Earth will be destroyed, rather than simply swept up, is that the Earth will oppose the black hole in at least two ways. In other words, due to the external pressure and the fact that the planet is rotating, the Earth would not go without a fight. As it continues to orbit, a portion of the planet is devoured with each blast. The only reason the feast would be significantly slowed would be due to our planet's rotation, and whatever mass of Earth remained would eventually collapse into a disk of hot rock and begin circling around the black hole. It's also worth noting that black holes are deadly not just because of their mass, but also because of the immense heat and radiation they emit, which may cause portions of Earth to be thrown into space rather than being absorbed into the black hole. Because of the extreme temperatures, gamma rays, x-rays, and other radiation will heat up the other things going into the black hole. The net impact will be high outer pressure on Earth's outer layers, which will initially slow down or stop its fall before ionizing and pushing the outermost layers furthest away from the black hole. As a result, some of the core will fall into the black hole, but the outer layers, as well as the crust and all of us, will be destroyed and flung into space. And as we said earlier, nothing we are aware of can leave a black hole except if you can find anything that can break free and go from the Earth to the Moon in about a second at the speed far faster than the speed of light. However, if viewed from space, this would look like debris of our rotating planet around the event horizon of a black hole, and the black hole's mass would have quadrupled by then. Crazy. But you might be asking why we stated you'd be okay if you could go to the Moon. Well, that's because the Moon wouldn't suffer any harm. Instead, its orbit would only grow more elliptical. However, we wouldn't be that fortunate. Before we even realize what hit us, poof, we're gone. When it crosses the radius of what was formerly the surface of Earth, a sizable portion of Earth's mass will be vaporized into hot plasma and travel at high speed. 
The impact that would have on our solar system would be catastrophic because the black hole's tidal forces would shatter the asteroid belt and send debris hurling into space. Cosmic bombs and collisions would become commonplace over the next million years. The black hole that would now occupy the location of the former Earth would orbit the Sun, while the other planets would continue to be in their current orbits, however slightly affected by the events. So you might be wondering if anything like this can ever happen. Theoretically, yes, but practically speaking, it would be impossible to create a black hole the size of a coin here on Earth. A tremendous amount of mass would be required to create a black hole the size of a coin, and that mass would then need to be condensed into a very small space. Think of it this way. The radius of an event horizon is a good way to measure the size of a black hole. This is referred to as the Schwarzschild radius. Not just black holes have Schwarzschild radii. Every mass-containing object, including the moon, planets, and people, has a Schwarzschild radius. Therefore, if an object's physical radius can decrease to below its Schwarzschild radius, it will ultimately turn into a black hole. Additionally, the Schwarzschild radius on Earth is approximately 9 millimeters in, di in diameter. In other words, the Earth could turn into a black hole if it were shrunk to about the size of a penny. As a result, the hypothetical black hole coin would be somewhat heavier than Earth. But what makes black holes even more fascinating is the fact that, for example, if we were to swap the Sun for a black hole of equal mass, Earth and the other planets would still orbit the Sun in the same manner since there would be no noticeable difference in the gravity acting on them. The only issue would be how much colder and darker our solar system would get, like by heart. But do not worry, Earthlings, black holes do not appear spontaneously. They are created from the remnants of large stars that perish in supernova explosions. Some black holes, nevertheless, can originate independently of a supernova. Stellar collisions may produce some bigger black holes. It's preferable if a coin-sized black hole isn't in your pocket. We live in an amazing universe chock full of unanswered questions. What do you think about black holes appearing close to Earth now that we have given you all this information? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.